Let's take a break in our case studies here and uh, take a look at how to algebraically solve an equation that has an exponent in, in it. Um, in this case, what I'm trying to do is solve for this r variable right here. Remember that your goal when you're trying to solve an equation is you want the letter to be by itself um, so that you can actually do the calculations and see the value that you want. If you look at the problem right now, I have three different numbers on the same side of the equation as the R. I have a 310, a 5, and a 1. And I'm going to need to get rid of all of these in order to get the R by itself. So this is going to be a three-step equation to solve. I get rid of each of these numbers one at a time. Now, the numbers that I get rid of have to be in the correct order. Basically, we're doing reverse order of operations. This number out here is being times... This one is being added, but it's inside the parentheses, and this five is in the exponent position. If we're undoing things, we want the thing that's farthest away from the R. In this case, that's this 310 that's being multiplied. Because it's being multiplied, I can get rid of it by dividing on each side. On the right-hand side, the 310s go away, and I'm left with just one plus R to the fifth power. And um, then I need to divide 650 by 310. So I'll pull my calculator out here. I've got 650 divided by 310. And in this case, I get this 2.09677 number. round that a little bit. So now I've got a new equation. I still need the R by itself as part of my solution process. Um, but there's still the 5 and the 1 there in the way. The next thing that I'm going to have to get rid of is this 5 exponent because the 1 is tied up really tight here inside the parentheses. Now to get rid of a fifth exponent, we need to do the opposite operation of an exponent, which is actually taking a root. So if we have a fifth power, we need to take a fifth root of each side to try to solve that equation. All right, well, how do we do that? On the right-hand side, the fifth root and the fifth power undo each other and leave me just with one plus r. I don't even need the parentheses anymore because that's all that's left. On the left, I have to take this fifth root of 2.0968. Now, Remember, our exponent button in Desmos is located right here, the A to the B button. The root button is located just underneath it, which is convenient. A to the B does the power. The nth root undoes the power. So I'm going to go ahead and push that nth root button, and it's waiting for which root you want. So it's blinking right there. I want the fifth root, so I'm going to type 5 in where that exponent button is, or that upper button in front of the uh, in front of the root. Now I want to move inside my square root symbol there. And this time I want to take this the this fifth root of 2.0968. Now if you notice the previous answer that I had was this 2.0968 but with lots and lots of decimals. So you can use this ANS button. It's going to copy over whatever the last answer is, put it inside that um, inside that fifth root for you um, and keep all of those decimals. So it's really gonna increase the accuracy of your answer um, by using that last answer button. Now, when I get this, I get this 1.1596. And now the R is almost by itself. The last thing that I have to do to get the R by itself is to get rid of this one. It's being added, so I'm gonna subtract one from each side. And again, I have the last answer right there on my on Desmos. That's what I want it to subtract. So I hit the answer button for it to copy down, do minus one. And there's my final answer value for R, 0.1596. So if we are trying to solve for R in any of our exponential equations, Start with 
I'm going to just kind of write out some steps in general because the order that you do this in and the steps that you do to solve these equations is the same every single time. So here's our general formula, right? The first thing that we, if we want to get the R by itself, we have to get rid of the A, the 1, and the N. So the first thing that you're going to do is divide each side by the A. Just like what we did here, the 310 was the A, we divided by 310 on each side. The second thing we need to do is to get rid of the exponent. And we're going to do that by taking the nth root of each side. So here our power was 5, so we take the fifth root. Here our power is n, so we take the nth root, whatever that's going to be. And then the last thing that you'll need to do to get the r by itself is to subtract 1 from each side. So just a bit of an algebra review here, or it may be new if you haven't seen how to solve equations uh, with powers before, but all that you need to remember is that if you have an exponent, the opposite operation of an exponent is the nth root, and then we just need to find that function on our calculator. It's real easy to find on Desmos. On some of the other calculators, it's kind of hidden in some of the menus. Um, so you can look up your, your calculator functions to see how to do that if you're using something other than Desmos.